Hello third graders, it's Idil teacher, your English main course teacher. Are you okay this week? Did you enjoy it this week? As you remember, on our last week, we finished page 14 and 15 on our class books. Let's remember what we did this week, okay? Open your class books, page 14, and have a look at exercise one. Do you remember the story that we watched last week? Uh, okay, let's read these sentences and tell which sentence isn't in the story. First one, don't go through the trees. Two, don't go down the steps. Three, walk over the bridge. Four, go up the hill. Do you remember which one wasn't in the story? Which sentence isn't in the story? Let's see the answer. Are you ready? Don't go down the steps wasn't in the story. Yes. And attention here. Attention here. The short form of do not is don't. Do you remember? When we want to say negative words, negative sentences, we use don't. Do not go up the hill is equal to, it's the same with don't go up the hill. Do not and don't are the same. Okay. Here in the exercise two, have a look at the sentences in activity one here and answer these questions. Okay. Which sentences tell you to do things? Tell you something affirmative, positive. Tells you to do something. So, it shouldn't be negative sentences, right? Because it tells you to do things. So, the answer is three, walk over the bridge. It tells you to walk over the bridge. And four, go up the hill. So, it tells you to go up the hill. Okay. And which sentences tell you not to do things? Not to do. So, it should be negative sentences. Okay? They should be negative sentences. It should tell you not to do things. Okay? So, the answers are don't go through the trees. And two, don't go down the steps. Let's see the answers. Sentences three and four tell you to do things. Sentences one and two tell you not to do things. Okay, perfect. Now, please have a look at exercise three. We are going to listen these forms of sentences, okay, these forms of sentences here, and we will try to remember how we use them, okay? Listen carefully. Listening 19. Listen and follow. Listening 19. Listen and follow. Walk past the house. Walk past the house. Go up the hill. Go up the hill. Run over the bridge. Run over the bridge. You can use these verbs with these forms. Any of these words, any of these forms. You can say go up the hill, walk up the hill, 
run up the hill or go down the steps, walk down the steps, run down the steps or go over the bridge, go uh, walk over the bridge, run over the bridge or go through the trees, walk through the trees, run through the trees okay you can use all these verbs with all these forms okay let's listen the negative words okay tells us not to do things there you go don't run down the steps don't run down the steps don't walk along the river don't walk along the river. Don't go through the trees. Don't go through the trees. So, you can use all these verbs with negative form with all these sentences. Okay, let's try. Don't go up the hill. Don't walk up the hill don't run up the hill or don't go past the house don't walk past the house or don't run past the house okay now have a look at exercise four do you remember this game do you remember this game perfect okay as you remember, we choose an animal here, squirrel, mouse, duck, rabbit, bat, and snake. Squirrel is here, mouse is here, duck is here, rabbit is here, bat is here, and the snake is here. So, we said how to get to our animal do you remember we choose an animal from our head we choose an animal and introduce them how to go to them do you remember so we said to find my animal go along the river we go along the river and we we go along the river and it says go over the bridge we go over the bridge don't go down the steps so we don't go down the steps no we don't go down the steps it says go up the hill and we follow the path and go up the hill there we are we found the rabbit so the animal is a rabbit perfect do you remember this game it was so amusing perfect now please turn your page to 15. do you remember this girl this is tess as you remember this is Tess with heart-shaped glasses, right? Pretty Tess. Okay, what does Tess say? How do we make friends? We can make friends with people we know and trust. Okay, this was a brochure here about being safe online, right? Okay, be safe online. As you remember, it was very important to be safe online. You are online when you are using the internet. How can you be safe? What do we understand from that title? Do you remember? So, this text is about A. How to find good friends, good games on the internet. or how to make new friends on the internet or what to do and what 
not to do on the internet. So, which can be the answer about this text according to the title? Yes, you're right. C. What to do and what not to do on the internet. Okay, let's remember what we read in our last lesson. The first one to be safe online is don't give out your personal information. Don't use your full name, like your name and your surname. Do you remember? Like for me, I will not use Idil Dilek in internet. Or your telephone number when you chat or post online. It's very important. And the second one, don't give out information about where you are. Don't tell people where you live or the name of your school. It's very important as you remember pe people may kidnap you if you um, give your uh, address or the name of your school. It's very important. Don't tell people where you are. Okay. Number three, keep your password secret. Don't tell your friends your password, okay? You can change your password. Don't keep the same password for a long time, okay? Change your password regularly. And number four, be careful with the photos. It's very important, kids. Don't send photos of yourself to somebody you don't know, okay? Do not send photos of yourself to anybody you know, you don't know, okay? Ask your parents before you send or post a photo. Perfect. And number five, don't make friends with people you don't know. Play online games and chat online only with people you know. Don't meet a person you don't know. Don't meet anybody that you don't know, okay? And number six and the last uh, paragraph is ask for help. People sometimes say bad things to other people online. As you remember, we give e examples as you're so ugly, you're so fat, uh, you have glasses, something like that, okay? People sometimes say bad things to other people. This is cyberbullying. If somebody says bad things to you, don't answer them. Tell your parents or a teacher. Perfect. Okay, have a look at exercise 2 and match the paragraphs with the pictures, okay? So, can I send this to grandma? She asks. And her mother says, yes. So, she wants to send her photo to her grandma. Now, which paragraph this picture matches with? So, we go up. It's number four. Be careful with the photos. Don't send photos to yourself of yourself to somebody you don't know. So she knows her grandma, so she can send her photo. Perfect. Picture B. I go to Oxford School. So he tells his school's name to somebody, which he shouldn't do. So which paragraph can be the example for it? Don't give out information about where you are. Don't give the name of your school. So it's number two. Call me on my mobile, she says on picture C. So she is giving her mobile number, her phone number to somebody. So which paragraph? Can it match with? So, this is number one. Don't give out 
your personal information like your telephone number. So it's one. Tell me what is it? No, sorry, he says. She's asking him his password, but he's not telling her. So it's number three. Keep your password. Shh, secret, okay? Picture E. I don't like you, somebody said to this child. So it's a cyberbullying. Yes, so it's number six. Correct, this is cyberbullying. Perfect. And she says, Joe is in my class. And her mother says, that's okay. She's chatting with someone in the class, in her class. So, which paragraph can it be? It's number five. Play online games and chat online only with people you know. Perfect. So, it's number five. Thank you, kids, for watching. Have a nice weekend. Bye-bye.